Stephen, how is everyone after the international break? Uh, majority are fine. Um, a little small issue with Scott Arfield, so he won't be available at the weekend. Besides that, everyone's fine. Um, Lasana got in today. Um, she's a bit late for my liking, but he'll be fine for the weekend. What's wrong with Scott? He's got a little issue um, in the Armstrong area, but it's not a big problem. He should be available for, for Thursday. In general, was it something you feel you needed the, the break with, with the volume of games, or has it maybe upset momentum in a way, given the recent results? Well, we finished in, in, in really good form um, on the back of two very important victories. Um, so, yeah, the, you could probably say we, we could have carried on because we were in a good moment and the atmosphere is very good, confidence is high. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, the volume of, of games has been very big for some of the players, so I'm sure the breaks come at a good time for them. Um, it's give us time to rest and freshen up physically and mentally and I'm, I'm ready to go on Sunday now. How do you use the international break? Do you review things or do you try and switch off and, and make sure you... We always review every training session and every game. It doesn't matter whether it's international break or it's a very busy, busy uh, fixture schedule. We always review, analyse, see what we've done well, see what we need to improve on uh, and then we look forward to the next challenge. You'll be without Kyle Lafferty on Sunday. How big a goal is that? Well, it's a shame um, because he's a, a good player and you know he's been in good form since he's come in. So it's a shame, um, but you know we we respect and uh, appreciate what's gone on, and he hasn't followed the protocol and done the right things. So um, his punishment is he, he he can't play on Sunday, and um, any footballer doesn't like missing games. Uh, I can assure you that. As his manager, do you put the arm around him and try and guide him in the right way? I support him. Yeah, of course I do. I, I always support my players, one hundred percent. He's come in, um, he's apologised uh, for what's gone on. Um, we respect Northern Ireland in terms of what the punishment they're giving him, and, and we move on, there's nothing else to add to it. We put a statement out yesterday, which was very clear, um, but now it's an opportunity for someone else on Sunday. Just finally, on it, you said in, in the statement that he'll obviously still be available for international selection. Do you yeah. feel the talks have, have helped clear the that's, air? That's not, but it's none of my business. To be brutally honest with you, it's between Michael and uh, Kyle to sort that out. Uh, I hope he continues because I still think he's got a lot to offer uh, the international scene. Uh, when I watch him for Northern Ireland, he looks passionate, he looks like he loves it. Um, he's made it clear to me that he wants to continue to play and be available, but that's a conversation between himself and Michael that they'll have to thrash out. Stephen, you said at the top there that you weren't too happy with Lasana coming back. What, what was happened there? Well, you want your players here, um, resting and recuperating and getting ready for Hamilton so um, it just means that he hasn't been involved in the last couple of days preparation for Hamilton but he's a fit lad and he's been around since day one he knows how we play so it's not a big deal but um, you know it's just any manager will tell you the same when the players come back a few days before the fixture it's it's not ideal. Was that through his own doing? Or no he's done nothing wrong um, he's tried to get back as quick as he can um, the good thing is he's healthy, he's fit, and, and he's available for Sunday, which is great. Mm. Well, what have you made of um, Aberdeen selling so few tickets for the League Cup semi final right business? Are you pleased that Rangers fans are going to get more tickets? Uh, yes. Do you think it would be more of an advantage for you now? Well, to be honest with you, Rangers uh, always, well, more often than not, have the majority of the seats anyway, and they always give us great support. So. Uh, the more the better, as far as we're concerned, but in terms of what's going on, it's, it's none of our business. Sure. Mind you said a few weeks ago, Stephen, when you were asked about Umar Sadiq, but obviously mm. next week you're going to have uh, Kyle and Alfredo missing, that he had to improve in a number of areas. Has he shown that improvement to you? He has. Uh, he's been working very hard. Uh, he's, he's got his head down. He's, um, he's improved a lot. His application's improved and his quality's improved. Um, so, yeah, he's given me something to think about in the future. Do you think that warning essentially you gave him uh, as some kind of thing that was written has inspired this sort of turnaround in his, in his efforts? I don't know, that's something you'd have to ask Uma. Um, but, yeah, you know, sometimes um, when a manager is, is honest with you, you know, sometimes you have to self reflect and go away. And um, if, you, if you're a proper footballer and a good footballer, you analyse, self reflect, and come back stronger. In terms of the international aspect, are you happy to have your guys going to be in the international football? Is it something you think is positive for the club? You know, it's been for a number of years the way the club was. Getting guys into that international squads was, was something beyond a lot of the players. But is it? Well, I, I used to love playing for England, and sometimes I'd come back late, sometimes I'd come back injured. So 
I'm not going to sit here now and put the whales to rights in terms of international football. We love our players doing well. Um, we love it when they get attention from international managers and, and their countries. We all know how proud they are to go and represent them. And we're proud to watch them and hope they do well and wish them all the best. But from a selfish point of view as a manager, like every other manager on the planet, you're, you're watching the TV, you're making calls and texts to try and protect them and look after them. And you've got your fingers crossed they all come back healthy because you know, we've got huge games of football here in the near future. Barisic, Katic available to come back okay? Barisic is very close, won't be available for the weekend. Katic is fine, 100% ready to go. In terms of this away record that's sort of been hanging over you since you came in, uh, this is another opportunity to sort of get it stuck off on something? Of course, that's exactly what it is, another opportunity for us to go and show everyone that we are capable. Um, we proved it against Kilmarnock in a cup game, we've proved it in Europe, uh, we're in terrific form at home. Um, the lads just need to go and believe in themselves and go and get the job done. I've got every confidence they can go and get a result on Sunday. What have you, you made of? about the, the, the semi-final? There? You know, a lot can happen in the space of six months. How would you describe what sort of place you're in now to when the uh, Rangers were last at Hamden when you played the semi-final against Celtic? Yeah, a lot better circumstances for myself personally, but uh, yeah, on and off the field, it's been a it's been a pretty pretty positive start to the season. Um, and it's another opportunity for the boys to, to go and show what we can do next Sunday and, and try and get to a final. What was your, what was your thinking when the manager came in? Because obviously when the new manager comes in, everyone thinks, right, am I going to be part of his plans? What was your initial thoughts? Uh, well, I've been pretty honest and reflecting that and saying that I probably didn't think my future lied at, um, at Rangers. Uh, thankfully, the gaffer you know, gave, me that, gave me that chance to show what I can do and obviously take me on the trip to Marbella and uh, you know, he showed a lot of faith in me. And, Obviously, I'm in debt to him for that, and it's just up to me to, to repay it in performances this season. You've played in a couple of positions so far this season. Some people maybe see that as a hindrance because you can be seen as a utility manager. Good players can play anyway. Good footballers can play in every position, and good players don't complain what position they get told to play in. I played in them all, not a problem. So you'd see that as a benefit because you can really slot in anywhere? I'm happy when I get a jersey, yeah, so wherever it is, it's. It's, uh, it's business time, so it's just about putting a good performance in. The away record, obviously, a, a lot's been made of it. Do you feel that, you know, is, is it something that the players think about a lot, or is it just a case of it's just another game? Not really. I think we're, you know, we believe in what we're doing here. Uh, obviously, we've made Ibrox a bit of a fortress this season in all competitions, and, uh, you know, I'm sure sort of rather than later we'll, we'll, uh, we'll reflect that and, and we'll start taking their the performances into their away games. And like the gaffer said, you know, the big opportunities to put that right on Sunday. How do you translate that home form in, into the away games? By doing what we do every single day. That's it. Stephen, can I get your take on the, the decision to withdraw Paul Gascoigne's nomination from the Scottish Football Hall of Fame? Um, well, Paul Gascoigne's my hero, uh, a player I admired an awful lot. Uh, both the VHSs, the CDs, the shirt, all the memorabilia that come with Gaza. Uh, he's my hero. So um, I'm disappointed for him, of course. Um, it's a shame because I, I certainly think, um, as a player and a talent um, and a man, he deserves to be in there. It appears that the catalyst for this, his nomination being withdrawn, was a threat from some SFA board members not to attend the dinner. Does that come as a surprise to you? I don't know the circumstances, to be honest. So I've got nothing more to add on it, but. Um, I'd just like to echo the fact that I love Paul Gascoigne, that's all I need to say on it.